let's do a quick uh, audio audio check. Uh, see how we're see how we're sounding. Live streams galore today. I I've just checked the order. That's 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 sounding okay. Um, yeah, sorry if I look drained. I've been at work since uh, seven this morning. Uh, only got in at seven, so um, got enough time to jump in the shower, join Richard for his premiere, watch my premiere, set up the stream, and uh, and go. Uh, let's do the quicker lows. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have just come over from the uh, premiere. Thank you to all. I think we had forty eight at one point in there. Uh, watching the premiere, so a huge, uh, uh, huge thanks to um, everyone who came to check out. And don't forget, if you um, did enjoy it, please go back and leave a comment afterwards, because obviously the live stream comments don't save. Uh, I really appreciate the support, and drop a like if you enjoyed it. Hopefully you like the new intros and kind of more slightly more professional style I tried to do it in. Um, let's say hello to some people. I've uh, got Tim, Tian, Kev, Gareth, Rachel, Lee, uh, Ed, David, another Tim, Brecknock, uh, Andy, Ron, uh, another Andy, Steve, Norman, I think, uh, Ron, uh, Josh, Humans, uh, hu Human City Junction, Lee, uh, Flymo, I think I've said everyone's name at least once, uh, Pix47, Good evening to everybody. I hope everyone is well. I bet you all, all can guess what's in here. Uh, I had to, I, as soon as I realised it arrived, I, I knew I had to do a... Don Eagle Dad, welcome to the stream. I think that's a new name. Uh, apologies if you've been here before. But thank you for joining me. CG, good evening, mate. Thank you for joining us. I hope you're well. James Akers... So much live content today. Yeah, today's been a, a jam-packed day for content on YouTube. Had everyone Junction's video out today as well, which I watched at work. It was a really, really good video. Tim, it's not a roll call. It's a, it's a register. <laughs> it's a register. Doing a school register, making sure everyone's here. So, uh, if I if I say your name, confirm you're here. <laughs> Uh, Keith, good evening, mate. Is it a spaceship? Not quite. Not quite a spaceship. What we'll do is we'll just get started with the first thing because I know what this is already, but um, um, most of you guys know what it is as well. I was waiting for some more O gauge track to turn up to complete my final stroke, and then I'll I will have. Oh God, let's let's not let's not get this wrong. So This one's so well wrapped, I can't even get it out. Uh, hello Flymo, uh, Andy, Richard Gerd. Wow, this is some of the best packed track I think, I think I've actually had turn up. I'm struggling to get into it. Dinos for the garden, not quite. I think Tim's got enough of it. <laughs> I tell you what, I haven't actually seen track this well wrapped. Whatever, well, actually, I've never. I'm not going to get started on things that I've had turn up before. Uh, more money gone from the house budget. <laughs> Guys, we need to agree to stop talking about money while Tian's in the stream because it, it's not going to uh, end well for me. Must have seen your live stream. <laughs> uh, I'm having to tell Discord bot which YouTube channel is a member channel that posts automatically and will take a while. Oh, fair enough. It's a good little feature to have. My God, whoever's packed this. <laughs> Poor poster. I am struggling to get into this. But we're in there. We're in there. Oh, there's more. Now, I'll be disappointed if Rails of Sheffield uh,
Oh, I thought there was nothing else in there. It's always best to open on a live one though, because then at least I can't pretend that it's a... Uh... What was that? <laughs> uh, no, this was from a, a chap on eBay. Uh, managed to get, I think it was, worked out about six pound per, per strip. Uh, Tian May can buy you a house somewhere else as he's bought so many. <laughs> Poor Tian is going to have uh, to deal with model railways for the rest of her life. Okay, well, this, I think this has got to be the best patch track. I just panicked there for a minute, Tim. If you you know full well that uh, I do the ball, um, the ball head track, and I just thought, hang on a second, please don't be flat line. Yeah, this is a uh, ten ten rows of it roughly. Uh, it needs a bit of a clean, but all looks good to me. But that's not the reason why I know all of you have turned up to the stream. Hello Colin, welcome to, the, well thank you for joining us tonight, uh, I'm sure we'll be happy in the bungalow, at least you'll have trains, uh, they never were, were apart from, yeah that's, that was an eBay delivery. Right, let's get on to the exciting bit, so I know Tim had a bit of trouble waiting for his uh, delivery from Rail to Sheffield, uh, I called them yesterday morning at 11 and they said they just posted it and it arrived this lunch, today lunchtime. Uh, We'll be bored by the <laughs> finish there's the lot, it's good. Uh, <laughs> you need to stop giving Tian ideas as well about what she's going to do in my head because it's starting to scare me as well. Tim just wants me to bid it so I can send it all to him, that's fine. <laughs> Right, so what we're, what we're saying on the Rails of Sheffield packaging, it's been pretty good so far. Pretty good. Yeah, mine took less than 24 hours to. This has more than one layer of bubble wrap. Do a quick. Don't sound like there's loose parts in it. Uh, we need to go for leg. Like, definitely not. Uh, send it to me. No way. No way to him unless it's in parts. Uh, the way Ollie's spending it, looking at uh, spend it, it looks like a tent in the <laughs> joint. Yeah, that's probably where I'll be uh, stuck now for the uh, civil future. In someone's garden somewhere. Uh, let's make sure we open this the right way. I think it's. End to end, so we'll... uh, why are you now a reviewer of how well packed packages are on your channel? <laughs> I suppose I could start rating what people are packing. Now. I'll give the uh, track a 10 out of 10, and uh, providing this is all in a good condition. Hi Chris, thank you for joining us. Careful, he's going to open it with a hammer. So, first things first, we all know it's a Helgen. I think everyone knows what this is actually because I've been so excited about it. Oh. Here's the... Um, here's the receipt. <laughs> Yeah, now we don't need to look at that. New Juncture, I feel free to uh, visit with the O-Gage presents. I can't afford any trains. I'm sure you can sneak some out in the, uh, the Hornby the Hornby one. The layout under, underneath Topley there. Okay, is it? Have you seen, you know, Cut Railways has created a new website for second-hand stock? No, I haven't. 
uh, do drop me a link. If someone could drop the my uh, Facebook page, then uh, James, drop me a link on, fa on, the, on my Water Road Facebook page. One of the spanners could do that. Oh, <laughs> I'm doing this with absolute <laughs> precision. It's always, always exciting to see the foam on the top as well. Oh yeah, wait, hang on. Ah, it's in the end. It's in the end. My Dapol Imperium Dakota. This is the one they recommended I got with this, so that's what I did. Oh wow. Well. I'm excited. Probably best to hold on to the receipt for now, I think, just in case. You know what I'm like for opening things. Uh, what's the best way to get this out of out the box without completely ruining it or doing it wrong? Thank you, Tian. Yeah, there's my Facebook link, James. So just drop me a message on there with the link. Wow. <laughs> I'll be putting this uh, as well into the video where I have a look at this in a bit closer detail. Oh yeah, thank you. Your junction's dropped it as well. Facebook.com forward slash water road. Oh, what's the best way to get this out? I'm, I don't want to... I know I'm going to break it somehow. Oh. Why well, have we stopped? No, we're going back down. We're going back down. I'm going to have to do it one-handed so I can make sure it comes out at the end. <laughs> Wow. Wow. I'll tell you what, I really like the way that they've packaged this with it screwed on. Someone did message me before the stream actually to let me know it was screwed on. So I've got a screwdriver as well. However, he's more happy seeing tra trains than me. Yeah, but how can you not be happy? Oh, I've lost focus. Let's bring it. How stunning is this class 128 in the Royal Mail parcels livery absolute let's get let's let it focus again do you want to focus no it doesn't want to focus at the moment uh, use a table I didn't have one to hand unfortunately uh, it's quite heavy actually it's really quite heavy I'm surprised uh, Magnificent, it's a stunning, I'll send you directly. Yeah, that's fine mate, James, you can do that. Uh, I'm nervous for you, Will says. Yeah, no, I'm nervous getting it out of the box there. Um, let's just bring it into the shot of the camera. Uh, it comes with full cab light interior, front lights, rear lights, the whole the whole lot. Uh, they come like that from her. Oh really, they all come on the, the wooden board, I think that's brilliant. That's a really, it's a really nice way to display it as well. Uh, really 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 nice loco absolutely stunning stunning model and stunning stunning detail to be fair mate you can keep that one Tim mate I'm happy to keep it I'd rather ha I'd rather have this than anything on the uh, website aside there uh, I did see their flying Scotsman on the Hatton's website and I think that was around 650 quid no not those flying Scotsman the Mallard sorry the Mallard uh no, this is actually a bubble car. The bubble car is the 121, which I think they are releasing soon. Uh, I'll probably get that as well in BR Blue. Um, I'll laugh if you accidentally do it. No, you wouldn't, Tim, because I'll buy another one and then you, then you would be upset. Uh, oh, stop it. I've already been persuaded by O Gage for a parcels depot. Yeah, this would fit right in. This would, this would fit right in. Absolutely beautiful, okay. You know, you're too scared to even take it off the stand. Like, I'm too scared to even run the script, but I need to uh, set up the chip. I don't even know how on earth I'm going to open this. But it really is. The, for anyone interested, the number is uh, 55993. Spring buffers. Man. Why does this logo have to be so nice? Maybe I'll just leave it on that and just put it on my shelf and then it can just sit there. Uh, it does look a bit big. Um, 
Uh, let me put it next to the lid of the 33, so you can get a size comparison. That's, the th that's an O-gauge 33. <laughs> he hasn't won the lottery. If he has, he hasn't told me. Probably best I wouldn't tell her, to be fair, because then I can get away with a bit more. Yeah, the one two ones. That, yeah, I really, I've got, I've got three or two or three one two ones in a double O gauge. So I think it'd be lovely for the O gauge. Shame it's raining and it's dark out there. Otherwise, this would have been a perfect time to uh, go out there and set it up. Uh, hammer. Yeah, I'm definitely not taking this off with a hammer. Hammer will be going nowhere near this. Uh, is it sound? No, but I was speaking to Chris at Hunt's Heath. He passed me on to a lovely chap who's going to be sorting. No, I said to him, once I've made sure I've got this working and running around the track. Um, once I've got it running on the track, then we'll sort out uh, a customised chip for it uh, with all the proper sounds for 128 parcels. Uh, oh god, the comments are going too quick. Hang on, slow down a little bit. Uh, first uh, YRM, YTRM cover photo Sunday. Put it, put it next to your Engage 06R. I would if I hadn't sold it. Uh, St Michael Railway. Good evening, mate. Thank you for joining us, John. Yeah, it is big. Damn huge, if you ask me. Uh, still too scared to uh, take it out. On 58 watching. Well, thank you all for uh, um, coming along to watch me uh, mess around with the. Uh, not even messing around. I'm, nothing's gone wrong yet. So I'm like been walking the dog in rain. Well, so like uh, I was going, what's it be on on sale? What's it? Yeah. So it was down from six hundred, five nine nine to two two five. So could I say no to that? And it's going to look absolutely brilliant on my uh, layer outside once I can get it up and running. Uh, Nick says, will you be weathering it, brave? No way. No way. And if I do it, it'd have to go to professional. There's no way I'm touching this. I, I'm, already, I'm too scared to even take the lid off. I don't even know how... There is an instruction manual, actually. I might be able to see. Let's put this, let's put this here so you guys can uh, see that. I don't want it to roll off the front of the sofa. That would be a disaster. Let's see what the instructions say. So, yeah, I do have the Depol Imperial Imperium decoder. I've never used them before. It's a 21 pin. Yeah, but I've got this, but obviously if I'm getting a sound chip for this, then I can just take this out and use this on another one. If I, if, although I'm, no, I'm not getting any more O-gauge locos for a while now, so... Is Tian gone yet? <laughs> yes, she could have said no. <laughs> uh, let's see how difficult it is to... Oh my god. Spare parts drawings. I'll just show you guys a picture of what the spare parts in this looks like. I wouldn't know where to start if I needed to get a, a spare part for that. Uh, John, this was £225 new and the chip was £35. Hi, hi Chris, secure. Welcome, thank you for joining us. Uh, that's a great buy, it's a train on itself. So, no need, exactly, that was the other thing, no need for work. Like, this can run around on its own. So, I think that might be why it. Might be why it's worth getting the sound fitted in as well. Uh, as I said, it has got cab lights at each end, front tail and uh, head end lights as well. Um, according to this, to take the lid off, it's only four screws. Screw positions for removal of underframe assembly and body. Yeah, four screws in each corner. So that, I can't, uh, I can't go too wrong with that. Uh, I have that one there, which one? <laughs> I don't know if any of you guys saw my Facebook post, but I put a picture up before I got this of which ones I wanted. Uh, one of the other ones I wanted was the O8 in either the Freightliner livery or the Swallow livery. Uh, I think one was the O3. Um, and the other one was this, but in BR Blue. But then I saw the parcels livery and I did a bit of research on them. I thought, yeah, I have to have that. Yeah, everyone tell Tian in the chat that was a good price. Thank you, John. That was a good price. If you see something from 600 to 225 of that quality, you can't really say no to it. 
give it a waterproof coat and take it outside tonight. I literally, when I'll be pointing the truck, I'll be I'll be following it along, like as it as it goes along, because uh. Yeah, everyone tell Tian I'm doing I'm doing the right thing here. It's a it's a it's a it's, it's an investment. If worse comes to worse, I'm sure the uh, bank and the mortgage people will take this as a down payment. I say I like that. Exactly, Mark. Tian, uh, this is an investment. You could sell this in five years' time and still make a profit. I think, to be fair, I think I could probably, yeah. But if it, could I make a, I'm not selling it. I'm not selling it. Uh, that's the argument I used many years ago with the wife when I bought my 1973 Dodge Charger. It's a good, dis it was 60, 62% off or something like that. I consider that a good discount. We have, uh, we've got 52 watching and only 24 likes, so can we try and push that to 30? As I say, I'm not far off the big 1,000, uh, so super excited to uh, hit that. That was my own, my, my original milestone when I started last year was 100, but then obviously thanks to the likes of um, Graham and Barnabas and Jenny and John and uh, a couple of others, I was able to... Uh, Grow my channel a little bit quicker. I can't argue with you all. He needs to save for more important things like a house. Yeah, a house to put this in. That's the main thing. Uh, fit lights into the garden so you can run train. Uh, yes, I am, John. Uh, I've been speaking to a couple of people about the best way to run lights at night time. Well, for all weathers. Um, you would pay more for an OO gauge DCC like Yeah, in some cases you would. Future for sure, and it's the discount you can't not. If you have fun, yeah. Who I get it, was it you, Gareth, that kept telling me there was a class 50 on the Where's the Sheffield website that was going from like 650 to like 350. And I nearly, nearly got that. Nearly, but I hadn't been paid yet. Honey, it's the only time I may ever find this price. Exactly, Anthony. Only time you may ever find this price. And we just hit 30 likes. Thank you very much, guys. I really do appreciate it. Uh, don't forget, if you haven't checked out my Garden Railway video update, update video, that's just gone up, so please go back and drop a comment on that. Uh, YouTube pushes it harder if there's comment. I know I did it as a premium, but YouTube does push it harder uh, if there's uh, comments on the actual video as well. And then a Garden Railway and a room for the many lads. Yeah, one other thing we was, when because we, we've been looking at places, we've been looking at floor plans and stuff, and we're going, well, that's the route, because there's going to be a railway room, there's no... That's, that's something that's not getting argued about. There's going to be a railway room. Uh, yeah, as Lee says, press the like. Thank you for hitting over, we're hitting over 50, 50 viewers at the moment, which is unbelievable considering. And uh, I think we had nearly 50 people uh, for the premiere as well. I've had two dislikes. Uh, is what it is. That's why I don't bother showing the actual uh, likes cause, uh, and dick slice because uh, I don't want to give them the satisfaction. I have a rough idea who it is normally anyway. But um, is what it is. I have another few. Of it. Gareth, you can't be saying these things in the chat. <laughs> now we'll call them morons because uh, that's probably what I'd call them as well. First time I've ever seen a twenty-one pin chip as well. I've not got the uh, not got the uh, OBS up actually, so we'll do that. Tiny, tiny chip. Uh, stop giving him ideas. We aren't going to have the house at this rate, but at least we'll have the OGH locos. No, the house will. The house layout will be double O, one hundred percent. Um, and then the garden will be the O. And then anywhere else I can squeeze any locos in will. Uh, are you going? Are you doing an inside chanting layout style for all your OGH? Uh, scrap line the OGH. If you watch my previous video, is the garden stuff. However, I will build a small sort of display diorama. Maybe it's just a little shunting thing for O gauge for when I can't run it. Because right now I just want to plug this in and send it off to the sun. But um, I can't do it at the moment because it's raining outside. More north, mate. More house for your money. Unfortunately, I, I live in West London. And uh, house prices around here are horrendous. Uh, be grateful. I know what I'd rather have. Do you the sort of people who just go through... Yeah, I don't, I don't care about the dislike. I did at the start, but when I did my video, Graham, he's on the my way out. He said, by the way, you'll get your first few dislikes because he has a chain of people who dislike his videos as well. So I was really aware it's coming. Um, 
Yeah, let's let's like ban prices. I might have to go into the YouTube thing and ban the, the pound sign and the dollar sign. Hi King Fox, thank you for joining us. Uh, we've still got uh, 50 people watching and 34 likes. If we can get that to 35, if you haven't liked, please drop it a thumbs up. Uh, I do appreciate it. Uh, that's just the rain stuff's running your OK stuff. Yeah. Uh, all the track and everything's out there is fixed down and all the wood is weather, weather coated. Um, so it's all right in the rain at the moment. Obviously, everything else that's not been protected has come in. Uh, I've literally just got all my locos and carriages up there. I'm still waiting for one more uh, blood and custard carriage Mark 1 coach to turn up. Tim did send me one on eBay actually, but it sold out. It, I, I watched it and then um, you rename the channel. What's Ollie bought now? <laughs> what about Euro? Yeah, and that. So um, let's have a closer look at this loco. I'm feeling brave enough to unscrew the bottom of it. So uh, let's bring let's bring that in. Sorry about the tripod in the camera. Uh, right, what we're going to do is we're going to turn it over. I'm going to regret this straight away, aren't I? But we'll turn it over. Oh. Oh wow, we're gonna need we're gonna need a big hammer for this one, boys. Uh, the, you see the size of the screw hole, and that's the size of the screwdriver I bought. Uh, so not much chance of this. Oh no. Just because it's little doesn't mean it can't do the job, eh? This is why I have my O gauge guard the gauge layout uh, running through the shed, so I can still yeah definitely. Oh God, Tim, don't give him that idea. We'll start building a shed over the... <laughs> At the end of the day, I think we can all agree and tell Tian that all we, all we want to do is play trains. All us boys and girls want to do is play trains. Don't want bits in a bucket again. Be very, very careful. Are we off? No, we're not. So we, we're still turning. Right, there we go. Why am I nervous to do this? This is very, uh, 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 I'm almost shaking. Steady now. Right, let's put that, let's take this, uh, let's leave that. Let's do something, let's do something. Just checking no bits have fallen off. <laughs> 200k buys a matchbox in London, exactly. No, you wouldn't be, you'd be lucky to get a shed for that money. Oh, well, even all the detail underneath. Uh, I'm going to have to pan you over here. Apologies for this in advance. All the detail underneath as well. Absolutely stunning. I never even thought that... I didn't even realise things were done in Royal Mail livery till I saw the double O gauge one of this. And when I seen it in O gauge, I thought, OK. <laughs> uh, yeah, three hundred k wouldn't get you anything in uh, West London. No more Enoli. At least you drop it on the floor. You can find. <laughs> yeah. Although if I drop it on the floor, I'd be more concerned about having to find all the various pieces. The the level of detail on this is absolutely stunning. Uh, I'll probably spend the rest of the night now uh, trying to get a chip into it. But I think the instructions said there was four screws. One, two, three, four. Now you know. I'm not doing it now. I'm not doing it now. I'm not doing it now. We all know that's not going to end well. I'm going to have a shower, so I will catch up with you later. Thanks for all the comments, guys. P.S. Stop giving him my boyfriend ideas about buying trains. Right, yeah, Tian, we will not talk about prices of trains. So no, once she's gone. Uh, just doing some wiring and fitting cork underlay whilst watching. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, thank you, Tian, for joining us. Uh, they won't give me any more ideas, I promise. Yeah, I didn't realise how much there was in the uh, uh, Royal Mail livery, actually, uh, John. If you move somewhere cheap, yeah, we are looking slightly more west towards the, the Oxford way, between Oxford and West London, something like that, somewhere down there in 40, because I work in London, so, um, oh, Steve, I don't know if I said hello to you, mate, thank you for joining us, they do it in our, they do do it in double O Kev, but I'm not allowed to give people ideas, Tiana has gone, only Tiana has gone all over the you want, yeah, thank you, Tiana, for joining us. Uh, let's just see where we are on the old... This thing, I, I can't believe how heavy this thing is. This thing weighs a ton. Oh, we're doing on the old... Like, 37 likes, three more likes, and we've hit the, the 40 mark. Yeah, 
But yeah, Royal Mail class one two eight. Looking at it now, I think I think I've decided it, it's going to need the sound. They have Terry at one plate DC sound at Rails that's going to be on <laughs> West Coast Model Railway. Hello, mate. Thank you for joining us. Uh, has Tian gone? Quick, get onto Hatton's. I was trying to get onto Hatton's website earlier, but it was down. Uh, Tim's a troll. <laughs> uh, how well stuck down are your buffer stops because her locos go, go straight through them? <laughs> No, no, I've actually super glued my buffer stop out in there and uh, screwed it down and nailed it down as well. So it's, I'm not bothered painting the buffer, buffer, buffer stop either. I have the IO gauge 128 Ollie and they're very heavy as well. Yeah. Is that Helgen 00128? Or is it someone else who makes them? And... But no, I'm super duper pleased with this. The detail on it is stunning. Um, as someone mentioned earlier, um, this is it's a, it's a standalone, so I can run this round without having to worry about carriages or any extra stock. I have the Oak version and that's a beauty as well. Uh, Langton Road, hello mate, thank you for joining us. If that's a new name, welcome to the channel. Um, if you are new around here, please hit the like button and subscribe and if you haven't seen it, uh, go check out Richard's uh, garden update and my garden update as well. I've uh, just uploaded it, so after this go and watch it. I'd really appreciate any feedback. It's nothing, nothing nowhere near as good as Tim's and Richard's, but I'm working with the space I've got. And uh, the train on X Blue Line train, or even a bunch of 103s together and painted Royal Mail Red. A gold finished colour. Where did you see that? I haven't seen one of these. I think they stopped going in, uh, coming out of service in either 81 or 91. Do correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I've seen a couple of videos on them though, they look absolutely brilliant. With sound, even better. Living off before you convert me to O-Gage. Thank you, Scrapline, for joining us. I uh, really do appreciate you taking the time out to tune in. Um, as I said, if you haven't seen the uh, pre my update video, that's on my channel now. We premiered just before. We got loads of people watching that, actually. Really, really good um, viewing on that. I do appreciate it. Might be calling me to lunch. ta, -ta everybody. Uh, did you get the other blood and custard coach? Mark, yes, I have one's on the way. And uh, Tim also linked me one, was going to buy it, uh, but someone bought it before me. So in total, I'll have two. I would have liked the third. Uh, Gareth, I've already got my uh, LMS uh, Jinty. <laughs> no, but a huge shout out to everyone who's been sending me links to stuff. I, I know Tian secretly uh, doesn't mind it, but um, yeah, I've been getting bombarded with messages of various O gauge things and people give me advice on O gauge. I really do appreciate it as a, I'm extremely new to it as well. But yeah, yeah Scrapline, do, please do check that out. Uh, it went up about an hour ago. It went up at eight o'clock. Um, it's only a 20 minute video. I tried to make the format a little bit nicer. So I do really appreciate you guys going to check it out and uh, giving me any feedback. I just can't get over how heavy this is. My arm's starting to take hold in this. Uh, probably would be 91 because every junction is one and if they were drawn in 81 every joint when there we go west coast that is very logical thinking very very logical thinking um yeah 90 it would have been 91 then they come out of service um one two eight for 54 pounds yeah the ginty started all of this <laughs> you know the ginty and then i've got the um 05 with the panelling on it and then obviously I've got the 33 that I'm waiting for a new motor to turn up I suspect she has voodoo dolls of everyone suggesting new trains wouldn't surprise me Ed um, how do I put this down without breaking it no I'm just going to hold it don't want to put it down on streaming because I embarrass myself September 21st 1991 there we go shame really because I'd love to see these come in fast now if anyone knows anyone doing an O-Gage on an underground full set please let me know I'd love to bring the credit card out for that one, but would love one of them. <laughs> yeah, I've just, talking of outros, Bricknock, I've put a new intro and outro on my videos. Um, they were made for me. They look great. Very pleased with them. Edinburgh, Waverley, while sitting on the GNR uh, to London, just before the petrol strike, they were maybe getting taken. Oh, that's a shame. Get eBay for O-Gage version. I will stay safe, catch you Tim tomorrow. Yeah, don't forget Tim's workbench tomorrow evening, workbench Wednesday. 
Um, oh yeah, I don't have Butler, but it's lunchtime. Great stuff, Ollie. Nice logo, okay, nice guy. Lay out Bible. Yeah, Norman. If you haven't, please do comment on the uh, previous video. It really helps with the uh, YouTube algorithm. Class ninety one is used yeah, on the Intercity two two five. A brilliant. Uh, but yeah, huge thanks to everyone who came and watched my premiere. I didn't realise I was expecting 10, 20 people and we had 50 at one point. Yeah, Brick Knock, I've seen the double O stuff uh, for London Underground, but I haven't got a layout yet that suits it. Um, good point, West Coast. I'm not entirely sure. It'd be nice if they were. I'd love to go to see one in person, actually, and just take this and put it next to it. Um, but no, I'm not entirely sure if they're preserved or not. I'm just going to put this down. I'm very, very scared of breaking it. As I say, I've also got all this O-gauge track to, to clean. No, not the comfy credit card. Got time, yeah, another 15 pieces of O-gauge track to clean. Um, this is all in really good condition. Really nice condition, not painted or anything. So um, what I'll probably do later is plug the chip in, get it sat on here and then get it moving backwards and forwards. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Well, yeah, Metro Models are the guys I've seen who've done the uh, double O. Ooh. Pew wants to do a backup. Not now, mate, not now. We've currently got 41 likes and 41 viewers. Let's keep it exactly like that. One, okay, I'm off now. Yeah, I'll probably end it now, guys. Just wanted to say a huge thank you to everybody who's tuned in um, and everybody enjoyed watching me do another unboxing. If you guys like the unboxing, I'll try and make sure every time I get something, I'll unbox it on stream. Because no doubt there'll be another day where, um, I've got plenty more stuff coming on from eBay as well, so no doubt there'll be another day where uh, something doesn't quite arrive in good condition. But if you are sending me stuff, then I'm sure you know to pack it well, because I will uh, open it up to uh, show off your packing skills on the stream. Uh, thank you to Rachel as well for sending me the uh, uh, insulator to join us. Um, they arrived today, so uh, thank you for that. I'm really grateful. Um, and don't forget, guys, if you haven't checked out my previous video, I know I've said it several times already, please do go watch it and drop a comment on it. I'll try and reply to all the comments tonight. And um, yeah, super grateful. It really helps me out if you drop a thumbs up and a comment. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my unboxing and it went well. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go and try and fit a chip into it now. Uh, what is it, nine o'clock? Yeah, I've got enough time to go fit, fit a chip in, see if I can get any running. If I do, do check my Facebook out. I'll put a couple of videos up on there of it, uh, with all lit up. Uh, Mark, she's not in the stream now, so nice try. <laughs> uh, yeah, see you guys later. Um, huge uh, thanks to everyone for tuning in. I really do appreciate every single one of you guys. And girls, we're super close to 1K, so if you're new, please do subscribe. Uh, Johnny Dawson, sorry for joining a bit late. <laughs> but yeah, you're all a bunch of legends, I know I say it every time, but I wouldn't be doing this now without your support. And um, it's great to talk to you guys on and off the stream. And see you in other streams as well. Um, I don't want to go into a whole spiel about how grateful I am, but uh, as long as you guys know that I am super grateful for everything you guys have done for my channel so far. Previous videos out now, go and comment on it, like it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers. <laughs>